Hey everyone, welcome back to Kelly Techs. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can run Python code inside your Android app using Hotlink. Yes, that's right. We will be using powerful plugin called Chuckify, which lets you integrate Python directly into your Android Studio project. So if you have ever wanted to combine the power of Python logics and libraries with Android's beautiful UI built-in Kotlin, then this video is perfect for you. Let's jump right in and get started. So for this project, let's start with the MTV activity. Click next and we will just give our application Python Android some name and uh, leave the rest as, de as default and click finish. So now our application is up and running and uh, once it's uh, uh, the, the sync is done so this is what you will see and uh, first of all let's add our dependencies we I will open the project level uh, gradle and in here I will add my chakupai so it's com dot chaku dot python and then we define some version for it and the version should be 15.0.1 uh, this actually this works for me that's why I put the same version so um, a fly falls and then we go to the module level gradle and we do the same and say com dot uh, chaku dot <coughs> python uh, so once you add your chaku you just uh, sync your project for and see if this really works if there is some issue you can change before oh okay we already found the issue so what's the issue here a problem occurred because the app project okay they say we need to define the ndk uh, for our chaku 5 we so we just define our ndk in our uh, under the android and the default config we say ndk and then we define few ndk and this uh, okay not like this uh, we need to define properly uh, abi filters because we are using the kotlin so the kotlin is a little bit different abi filters and we plus as equal to since the abi filter is wall so we cannot directly assign anything over here so we need to define as list of and uh, uh, we Define few of the 86 x86 86 uh, and x86 under 60 64. Mm, hopefully, these are the indicators we need. Sync the project again and see if there is an issue. Okay, all good. The build is successful. Okay, now uh, we need to add our uh, Chocopy uh, dependencies. I mean, whatever do we, wh whatever we need uh, for our project. So that one we add like uh, this. Uh, just watch it. Default config. And default config. First of all, we need to define our uh, version for Python. So we say version. So what version we are using here? I say, <coughs> okay. I show you what where you can get your Python form. You need to go all the way back to the, your Macintosh HD and double click your Macintosh. Your um, screen might look like this. So what you need to do is command shift dot if you are using the Mac. Uh, otherwise, you, if you are using uh, Windows, you need to show your hidden files. And then in hidden files, you see the USR and the bin. And then you will find the Python here. Just press P, P, and then you will go to the p section and there you find the python py where is py okay python i will be using python 3 so how you can uh, how you can get the the address of this so you just open the terminal and then you just drag and drop here and then uh, copy this line and go to uh, okay one more thing you need to do is to enter it enter this so when you enter this it will give you all the details of your uh, python so i i believe i installed it's uh, uh, 10 
3.10 and uh, my uh, build build python uh, is actually this one we just copy and paste okay it's still running i will show you later when it's done because i, I i'm quite sure i i'm using the 3.10 version of the python and this is the the directory address i put over here and uh, apart from this what we need pipe so here we need to define what uh, uh, dependencies uh, do we need what packages do we need for our projects for now i will just install um, mat matplotlib so this is the only dependency i need so i let's uh, sing the project and see if there is any issue in our code seems like no issue is just giving me like you are using the 3.10 may have fewer packages available you can use 3.8 <clears throat> uh, I will leave 3.10 for now. I won't listen to this warning. I will just ignore it. If there is an issue, we can simply change in the future. All right, so we are done from here. Uh, let's go to our uh, project level uh, directories and go to the app and source and main. In here, you will see already there is one directory created uh, Python. So you just uh, try to try to create your own python file over here so i just go and create new file and just name it chart generator dot pi so this will be our um, python file i will just uh, copy paste one python code uh, let's see this is my python code with what what this python code is actually doing and i'm just taking two uh, array of numbers and one my is my x x array and one is the y array and then i'm creating one chart simple chart from x axis and y axis and then there will be some values going up and down because it's starting from 10 to 20 then 30 and then coming back to 26 and then it's going up all the way to 50 and then coming back to 34 so this is how our uh, chart should looks like and once our chart is the the, the grid this you, up to you you want to make it false or true to show the grid behind your uh, chart and then this is your chart path where we just take from our os uh, take the path and join our directory and uh, direct directory which we define over here and uh, then we give uh, some name to our uh, chart we, we saving as a png to this directory uh, uh, location and then just save it and pl our plt is closed and we're returning our chart path which we created over here so um, this is what the python code looks like and uh, you can use your own python code so i won't waste my much time over here so let's move to our main.xml we just defined some ui here uh, for simplicity i'll just take the linear layout and i will give it to the orientation vertical um, some padding maybe 32 dp and here this one i will change to image view and give some id to my image view and i just say image view um, we don't need this text anymore and uh, let's just uh, create one button and this button i just say rep content rep content and uh, this uh, text should be generate chart and whatever you want and i just use some id over here and give the id button uh, one more thing I want to add here is a uh, <coughs> uh, build uh, feature and in the build feature I want to say view binding is equal to true so we don't need to create like a find by ID something uh, to make it simple to access to these IDs um, okay uh, we won't much waste much time to decorate it so i will just say a margin top uh, maybe 25 dp let's go to our main.activity here let's create private let in it war and it should be binding activity binding and let's uh, say 
finding uh, equal to main activity binding but in plate is a layout inflator and there we just simply binding dot root okay we don't need this <coughs> I hope this is how uh, it should looks like. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, first of all let's initiate uh, start our Python. Uh, I say if not Python in Python dot is started. So if the Python is not started, Python dot start Android platform. We want this Python to be started for our Android platform. Okay, and the other thing here, I say wall pi is equal to and this one. I can just put inside the click button. So binding the button, then sit on click listener. I can all pi is equal to Python dot get instance. We create one instance for our Python, and then I say all um, absolute EB, EBS path which uh, in my case I mean absolute path is pi dot get module which module we need to uh, what was the name of our python uh, file it's chart generator chart generator and then what was the name of our uh, uh, function we just copy that one from there and then put it over here and we just say dot to string so we just uh, the uh, what what we need what we are doing over here we are going to the module which module this file and then inside the file there is one function called create fun create chart which is actually returning our uh, file path so we catch the file path and then we are storing our file path in this variable <coughs> and now what we need to do is to uh, to convert this file path into bitmap uh, let's say bitmap is equal to bitmap factory the decode file and then we say our abs path which is in our case absolute path uh, okay we this one uh, what this function will do it will just decode our file path to bitmap and then we need to check here uh, just to avoid the the unnecessary crashes so we just need to check first like if the bitmap is not equal to null then only assign this bitmap to our image dot set image bitmap and we just say bitmap uh, else uh, we just say a toast or maybe just say log dot e um, man activity bitmap is now log should have need to import the log uh, okay you can make a toast also uh, uh, all right nothing more uh, we try to run our application and see if everything works fine
Okay, we got some error, and this error is they say uh, we need to use the compile compile SDK to uh, compile SDK is currently 35, and they ask us to use 36. Um, not a big deal. We can just increase our target SDK to 36 and compile the SDK to 36, and then sync our project. Let's run again. Let's click to generate the chart. Okay, we made one mistake over here. We need to give some specific size to the image. Say 400 by 400 dp, it's up to you. <coughs> Let's generate again. <clears throat> hmm. So yeah, it works fine. <clears throat> As I mentioned, it starts from zero, from one, from ten actually, and then it's going to twenty, and then from twenty is going to thirty, from thirty is coming back to twenty-six, and from twenty-six is going to fifty, and from fifty is coming to thirty. Four. You can play around with this. You can just increase, like maybe I say, seven and eight, and here I just say back to twenty-five, and then I say sixty-six, and uh, the other one I just say uh, fifty-eight. You can play around with these numbers, and uh, you can check the result over here. You can use your own. Uh, database data anything that you can pass to this function this function and then create your own um, chart and then return back to chart to your application okay one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight okay so there is a, a bit difference between the number so I just give one more number here hmm. yes. looks good yep all right so you can find the source code of this uh, video in the description and uh, hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, in the future, I will be bringing more interesting videos and more interesting tutorials, so uh, don't miss them. Subscribe and press the bell icon, and thank you so much for watching.